Hey guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking, the place for South Asian comfort food. Now, when I talk about comfort food, I'm referring to food that makes you feel good, feel home, and for me, it has to be Chinese soups. Now, Chinese soups are really delicious because it is slow cook, and today, I'm going to show you how to cook old cucumber soup, and this is how to prepare it. The first step before preparing the soup is to blanch the meat or the bones that you'll be using as the base of the soup. In this recipe, I'm using pork bones and you can replace it with chicken if you like. So over here in a pot of boiling water, I'm going to add a few slices of ginger and we will be adding the pork bones. As you can see just now, the water was boiling vigorously and now once we add the pork bones in there, it's going to settle down a little, it's going to cool down and we're going to let it boil for about a um, few more seconds and once it starts boiling again, that's when we're going to remove the pork bones. As mentioned, you can substitute it with chicken meat or if you like, you can also use dried anchovies. I've used that in my other soup recipes, so if you want to check that out, the link is in the description box or in nyonyacooking.com. That's where we have a whole collection of recipes there. So, this is already boiling and we're going to remove the uh, pork bones. Discard the water and what we're going to have right now is start with a fresh new pot of water. So, over here, I'm going to let the water boil and this is how old cucumber look like. So please do not be mistaken, it is not old rotten cucumber, it's a different variation of cucumber and it is also mostly found in uh, Asia. So I brought this from Malaysia, I couldn't find it in Germany. If you can find it in Europe, please leave a comment in, uh, in the comment section below or also just tell me if you can find it in uh, other places. You just need to cut them into chunks and remove the center of the old cucumber. This is boiling right now. We're going to add the pork bones again. Dried scallops. Dried oyster. Dried scallops and dried oysters will make the soup slightly salty and therefore we're going to balance it up with some sweetness. So we will also need some red dates. And goji berries will also contribute to the sweetness. According to Chinese traditional medicine, goji berries and also red dates are very nutritious to our body. So therefore, having them in the soup will be very beneficial. The last step is to add old cucumber. We're going to let this cook at maximum heat and once it starts boiling again, reduce the heat to its very minimum and we're going to let this soup simmer for at least one and a half hours. You might think that it is long but believe it or not, a lot of Chinese households cook soups like this for at least three hours and the result is amazing. You get the flavours of each and every ingredient, the sweetness of uh, the red dates and also goji berries. I absolutely love it. But to me, minimum, it should be 1 hour 30 minutes. Nothing less. And uh, if you want to go longer, it's really up to you. So use a heavy pot like what I have here and that would actually help you during the cooking process because if you're going to boil it for so long, it's going to evaporate, the soup is going to evaporate and you're going to lose out a lot of water. So sometimes you might want to add a bit more water or add enough water so that it decreases uh, well enough. So uh, for now, I'm just going to let it cook and we'll be back with the final result. Now before we look at the soup, I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to Funan for sponsoring the location for our meet at Grid in Singapore. It was so nice to finally meet you guys and to know who's behind the computer, who are actually behind the comments and to know that there is actually support for Nyoya Cooking. It really really makes us very happy and here are some photos that we took at Funan. For those of you who haven't been there, Funan Suite was the place where we had our location and that's where they also have events sometimes. So Check out their Facebook page where you can also be updated for events once in a while. This is how it looks like right now. Everything looks so beautiful. And because we have already blanched the um, pork bones earlier, so you do not really see uh, much dirt on the layer of the soup. Now if you notice that there is a thick layer of oil which usually comes from the meat, you can remove it. but. Over here, everything looks good. 
So I'm just gonna get a spoonful as usual just to taste Now I did not add any salt because I do not really like using salt but uh, especially when it comes to soup only when it's really needed but just because we have dried oyster and also dried scallops so you would not really need salt in this this looks so beautiful it's going to taste perfection this is perfection. Every time I taste a bowl of good soup, it makes me happy. And as I've mentioned before, it feels like you're getting a big warm hug. It really feels like that. Delicious. So just let me show you the cucumber. It's really soft. And I really like eating this with a teeny bit of soya sauce. Mm, it's so delicious. It tastes a little like winter melon um, But at the same time you get this really smooth creamy um, Texture from the old cucumber that has been boiled for hours So always taste the soup first before adding some salt if you really want it feel free to do so I hope that you have enjoyed this video and also this soup recipe. If you're looking out for more soup recipes and also nutritious Chinese recipes, check out our videos where we have delicious and also healthy recipes. So till then, I wish you as always, happy cooking!